Hey everyone, thanks so much to everyone that turned out to my stream yesterday for Final Fantasy XIV. We did a surprise stream as I just hit 6,000 subs. Thank you so much. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have a fantastic day today, tomorrow. I know some of you are celebrating Christmas today. Some of you are actually celebrating it tomorrow, or as some of you call it, the holidays. But whatever you call it, I hope you have an awesome day. But today we've got a bit of news that I thought I'd get out there before I finally sign off for today and tomorrow because I need a break too. But first of all, we have this Mandalorian news that's going about. Of course, there's a lot of rumors going about this at the moment where uh, ID is basically supposedly working on this. Now we do know that ID is actually working on Doom Zero or Year Zero as it's actually called, but uh, apparently we do know that they are working on another licensed game. And obviously now that we've seen Blade from Marvel, it's not too far of a stretch to assume that Mandalorian could be that game. We've had Mandalorian linked with another Bethesda studio as well. So, or Zenimax if you want to call it. But either way, we've seen them linked with another one before. So it's not too far out of the realm of this being a possibility. Now, of course, whether this is going to be a first person or third person game is the question if it actually is real. Because as we know, ID Software, kind of, you know, the creators of Doom, specialize in first person shooters and this being a marvel game they kind of would want it to be third person to be able to sell skins or whatever you know that sort of thing you want to see the character in its full glory so you can you know enjoy the cosmetics this is a marvel game after all it's probably going to be one of the requirements so how that is going to be handled if this is at all even true is a thing but it's a nice way to go into christmas knowing that alongside Blade, sure, we may have lost Wolverine, but at the same time, Mandalorian to me is just a much cooler character. And hopefully they can do it justice, if indeed this rumor is true. So do take that with a grain of salt. Now we have this one over here. This one is uh, a little weird, right? Because you'd think this is an Xbox Activision Blizzard article, because that's the big bad poster that's posted here, right? You'd think this is all about Xbox and Activision Blizzard. In actual fact, it is not. Leaked slides amid the Insomniac data breach have revealed Sony's internal concern at Microsoft's Activision of Activision Blizzard. It is related to Microsoft and Activision, but the article is about Sony, and yet they still can't post anything about Sony. And you got this one over here. Yo, IGM, why you keep reporting so much on this leak? Have some integrity. And I'm like, they're a news outlet. It's literally their job. They haven't said anything about the personal details, which would be crossing the line. This, however, is their job to report on the news. And it looks like I've got a like as well. But at the same time, why isn't the, you know, why isn't Sony's logo there? Why is it? Why isn't the X, why is it Xbox and Activision Blizzard? Why is it green when it's the PlayStation internal concerns, you know, from the PlayStation leaks from Insomniac? I don't know. It just, it just, it just, it just feels weird. But apparently from a lot of their concerns, this is what's coming out. According to speculation, Sony is about to buy EA and they go through a bunch of rubbish reasons as to why. Uh, the speculation is there as to why Sony is buying EA. My dude, Sony can't even afford Bungie. They had to apply to Klarna for a freeway, f you know, deal t in order to pay it off in installments because they simply couldn't afford to pay it off in one go. They're over there about to get fined $8 billion for monopolizing digital content. They've just been fined almost 14 million euros for monopolizing controller hardware. And they're losing money like there's no tomorrow. Their 2023 profits cut down by 60%. They're having to lay off staff like the producers. They are canceling projects left, right, and center up. They can't run a single live service game without it actually costing them enough to shut the company down. But wait, folks, they're gonna go and buy EA. I mean, who in the right mind comes out with this shit? I mean, come on, man. The company is in dire straits right now. It's not in the best of places. And they're gonna go and spend 30, 40 billion on EA. Like who, do, who are these people that come up with this speculation, this rumor, this idea? Like, 
I mean, they, they said that they were going to buy 2K from software, EA. Uh, who else were they going to buy? Capcom. They were going to buy Rockstar. Like, really? Like, seriously? Like, I, I think the copium gas has finally hit them at a point where there's no return, folks. There is no return. All right, we have this slide over here, which I thought was quite interesting, right? These are the 2022 games. You can see Predator Hunting Grounds made basically no money. Uh, Sackboy made basically no money. Uh, Demon Souls Remake for all that capping that they did. All of that capping that they did. We've got Demon Souls and all this and all that. It didn't even break 2 million sales. Ghost of Tsushima, respectfully, at 7.43. I think that Undersold, it's a fantastic game. The Last of Us Part 2, I think, is a great game at 9.6 million. Spider-Man Miles Morales, I think, is a DLC, and it was crazy for it to be priced at the price it was. But you know what? They sweetened the pot by making it uh, with the remastered edition of Spider-Man 1. That was worth it. All right. But yeah, as you can see here, Demon Souls, not even 2 million. It's a... Uh, Considering how much they uh, jerked off to it, it's a, it's a bit of a... <sighs> okay, so uh, Sony clearly in trouble, so they're now going back to their roots. And what is their roots? God of War Trilogy Remastered is coming to PS5. At least that's the rumor, because clearly uh, they need to recoup some of the money. It's not a remake, it's just a remaster. They're going to touch up the graphics a little bit by upping the resolution and whatnot. Maybe uh, I don't think they're going to touch the majority of the code. It's just going to be a one-to-one -one port with textures being upped. Maybe they'll redo some of the textures. Who knows if they've still got the files because, you know, this was from a long, long time ago. But would you be interested in a God of War trilogy remaster coming to PS5 at $69.99? I mean, don't expect it to be anything less than $69.99. But would you be interested in a God of War remaster for 70 bucks? And if you say no... What about 50? 49.99. Would you be interested in then? Still no? What about 39.99? I think that should be the actual price point for this if it's just a remaster that they're releasing. Uh, this comes obviously from Schnepsel's Nick. Uh, but, you know, it is interesting. And, you know, God of War is a beloved franchise, especially the old ones. A lot of people who like the old ones don't like the new ones. But, yeah. So for those of you that don't know, I used to cover Anthem in my other channel. I really like this game. I think it's a really good game and I think it's worth, you know, your time. It is currently like 99% off. It's going for one buck. If you actually have never played it, I personally would recommend you check it out. You can't go wrong with one buck and it's actually a good game, in my opinion, anyway. And if you get this on Xbox, you actually have it at 60 FPS as well. Unfortunately, for PlayStation, EA just said it wasn't worth their time. But on Xbox, you can actually run it at 60 FPS with FPS boost. It did get that. Uh, it did get that treatment. Also, uh, from when I play, I still like jump into it every so often, at least on the PlayStation version because that's where I first started. Uh, servers are still active. The players are still there. You still go like as long as you're doing the weekly seasonal content people are still joining up to do the dungeons and whatnot so it's still got a player base there so definitely something you might want to look at finally we come to this over here by peter ovo it's a rumor so do take it with a grain of salt but someone claims that rockstar gta developer is developing a brand new medieval fantasy ip According to this rumor, it has been in development since the end of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I've also heard this rumor. I've also read somewhere that it uh, isn't anything medieval related. It's more uh, Red Dead Redemption 3 related. So the rumors are flying around everywhere for this. So take it as you will. But you know what? At the end of the day, I can believe this. I can get behind it. What I can't get behind is the notion that PlayStation fans believe that Sony is about to buy EA. That to me is the biggest Christmas joke of them all. And with that, I wish you a Merry Christmas and I'll see you in a few days. Hope you have a lovely time and until the next video or the next stream, mind you, remain legend. Thanks so much for that 6K subs. It means the world to me. Peace out.